Really, I stole from Jonathan Winters the old lady voice that he did. He did Maud Frickert. And so I stole that voice or that idea and I would do a, uh, a voice on the air and I would talk back and forth to it. The Fifth Dimension on WKY at 9 past 7. 709 on the big 79. Notice how everything is tied together. You know, fantastic. WKY. 29 degrees, friends, from WKY. And um, as usual, come on in. Ah, there, Skin. How are you? Fine. What's, what's wrong with you? Well, you know, this... This is just about it, isn't it? Well, yeah, but... Uh... And, and I got pretty good at it because I got... Pretty soon I started recording the first three or four of her lines that I could then... I would be then be able to talk over. That was the secret. I, if I would kind of like jump on her, or she would, she would say something while I was talking. So it, it had a real semblance of realism because the both of us were talking at the same time. All right. Okay, I'll be strong. Let's roll the dice. I haven't won. I never win. Poor little old lady from the retirement community. Well, let's just roll the dice. I didn't ask for a song and dance. How could you hurt me like that? Let's roll the dice. I'm going to win. I know I am. Come on, be good for the old lady. I mean, I really got into being her. I don't know where it came from, but I remember as soon as I got into talking like Maudie Frickert. Actually, I named her Laverne the Lunch Lady. So whenever I talk like Laverne, it's Laverne that the old folks home. I really got into her act, her what she was doing, and she had a she had a whole litany of old friends at the old folks home, and the old folks home was called the Never Can Say Goodbye Retirement Community, named after that Gloria Gaynor song from back in the 70s, and there was the Goat Man, and there was and then I used a whole bunch of names. <laughs> of people that I grew up with, like a guy named Corky Dobson. Now, where could that name come from? But it came from Regina Beach, Saskatchewan, Canada. Corky Dobson. And other names that I would use for her friends at the old folks home. My attitude toward her, I was the straight man with her. I was always saying, Laverne, you can't say that. And then she would say what I really wanted to say. I mean, if you, don't, you know what I mean? And I would have, and also I used to have the sound effect of a door knock. I would knock, and then I'd push the, the, the cart, and the door would open. Knock, knock, knock. Oh, it must be Laverne. Click. I'd push the door, and she, they'd hear the door open, and she'd say, and I would go off mic, you know. Hey, it's only me, Laverne. Come on on in. And I would, then I would go back to the microphone and say, Laverne, you look so good. And she would then, be, and then my face was, my head was going like this, constantly being off mic for her and on mic for me, until I come up with the idea of recording her, so that I could say, hey, come on in. And they would, the voices would kind of mingle and be like, people would say, well, maybe there is somebody else there. Maybe there is an old lady. You know, it was, it was fun. <laughs> I enjoyed doing that. <laughs> Did you ever roll dice with her? Yeah, I rolled the dice. Every morning we rolled the dice to see who paid for the coffee. And she and, the, and we had, you know, I went to the sound effect library and got the roll of dice. And she always would lose. And I would always win. But I would always cheat. I would cheat her a lot because she was an old lady and she couldn't maybe see and she, she rolled the dice and I'd say, well, you got a three. Maybe she got an eight. I don't know. She got a three. And then I'd roll, oh, there's a four. Looks like I win again. And she'd always go, you always win. What happens? I don't understand. So she wasn't, she wasn't on to the fact that I was cheating around the dice. How could you hurt me like that? Let's roll the dice. I'm going to win. I know I am. Come on, be good for the old lady. There, I got a nine. Beat a nine. You'll never do it. Watch this. No, you'll never do it. It's my turn to win. Where'd you get? Ten. Oh, oh, oh. I never win anyway. Why don't you buy the coffee anyway? Why don't you go, why don't you go up and buy it? Now, hold it. You lost, buy the coffee, okay? Well, you don't have to get the P.O.'d about it. I'm not P.O.'d, just, you know, the idea that you lost, so you buy it, okay? All right. And hurry up. Oh, how could you say? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you steal the dice? I stole the dice. Yeah. I stole the, aw. Oh, yeah, I stole yeah. the door open. <laughs> yeah. I stole all that stuff. <laughs>